What the hell is Saw Sports or whatever that last call was? What the hell is that? So Evan Gaddis has spoke about the Houston Astros cheating scandal. And I'm sure at this point you guys are probably tired of hearing about all this. But you know what? It's kind of, you know, not much going on with the current pandemic. So, you know, let's make some videos and let's talk about it for a little bit. Make sure you guys, after you guys hear out what Evan Gaddis said and how you guys feel about what I said, make sure you guys drop in the comment section. Tell me how you guys feel as well. Drop a like and subscribe to Soft Sports TV so you guys get that extra content on the other teams here in H-Town whether it be the Astros, the Dynamo, or the Rockets. Obviously, there's two channels. There's Soft Sports that covers the Texans and the Roughnecks if there was a season still currently going on. And then you have Soft Sports TV that covers the rest if the rest was still going on. But, you know, at the meantime, we're going to try and make some videos, give you guys something so you guys have during these times. And, um, yeah, let's get going with this video. All right, so before I kind of talk about it I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a quote from Evan Gaddis himself and this is what Evan Gaddis said what we did was wrong don't get it twisted it was wrong for the nature of competition not even just baseball we obviously cheated baseball I'm not asking for sympathy or anything like that if our punishment is being hated by everybody forever just like whatever I don't know what should be done but something had to be fucking done I do agree with that big time. I do think it's good for baseball that we're cleaning it up. I still, to this day, I've thought about it a fucking shit ton. And I still don't know how to feel. I know I'll get ripped by somebody like, that's not an apology. And if I did apologize, it wouldn't be good enough. Yeah, no shit. It's not going to be good enough. I understand that. It's not fucking good enough to say sorry. I get it. So... Uh, basically from what I got was it, you know, it happened. That's pretty much what he's saying. It's kind of saying something that I've been saying this whole time. It's happened. There's nothing really they could do to make things any better. The punishment was given to them. Whether you guys like it or not, they've been punished. Whether they apologize or not, you're still going to give them crap because if they don't apologize, you're going to be demanding an apology. And when they do apologize, it's never going to be good enough for the, for the baseball fans. And Astros fans... You know, people are getting mad about us defending the Astros because we're we're terrible fan base. But, you know, mind you, we also saw what the Yankees fans did by chucking beer cans at a person in the bathroom. So, I don't necessarily want to judge fan bases, but the Astros fan base, they're just supporting their team, dealing with this tough situation that they're in. And in the end of it all, man, everyone's just never going to be satisfied with it. And uh, something that I always firmly believe in, man, uh, when you're trying to get redemption, the only thing that really matters is to the people that matter to you that f redeem you. So if the pe people that you really don't care about, if they don't re if they don't redeem you, then who cares? All that matters is the people that you really care about. But yeah, so Evan guys, I'm thinking he just hit it, hit it right on the nail. Um, some people were being mad at. Altuve and Bregman for having these half-ass apologies. Yeah, I feel you on that one. And then they were mad when Correa decided to defend Altuve. I loved it, but you know, it, it, regardless of what the Astros do, they're damned if they do, they're damned if they don't. So at this point, it's just whatever it can be. Just all you can do is just move forward from it. And I think that kind of part of why he went ahead and did this interview and speak on this is. Of a tweet and in the tweet um, I forgot who is the the brewery or who, who came up with this but they made a custom pint with a picture of Mike fires and on the pint it said snitches get stitches and so Mike fires got the got the pint glass and posted it on his Twitter account and you had the Astros fans that were applauding him saying oh that's a sweet pint glass and then you had the baseball fans or baseball fans that ripped him for it and I think this was kind of his um, saving saving himself kind of thing even though there's nothing really to save at this point what's done is done but it's great that we get to hear more players speak on it now but at this point all you can really do is move on from it but I did like that you know at least Evan Gattis wanted to 
give his perspective, his two cents on it. He went a little bit more in depth in it, but I just wanted to read that quote because I think that one just hits the nail on the coffin and truly how everybody feels about this whole matter. So I do applaud uh, Mike Fires for that. But aside from that, man, <laughs> what's done is done. They got their punishment. Get over it and let's just move on. If you really want to beat the Astros, beat them in baseball. Don't try to play dirty. If you want to throw pitches at them, do it for like initially, but you realize you put a runner in scoring position just automatically. You already put a runner on base automatically just for hitting them. If you want to beat them, beat them in the game. Beat them in the scoreboard. Because honestly, man, this is still a solid Astros team. We're going to see what the real Astros look like now that there's going to be, I guess, more... Uh, eyes on the Astros if they're going to cheat or not. So this is where you're going to really see the real Astros team. Are they a well-disciplined hitting team? Are they a good team to begin with? Can they play well without doing it? And I know in 2019 uh, they said that they didn't cheat, said so in the report. People don't believe them. But let's let's see what happens now when all eyes are on the Astros to see if they really are a legitimate team in the MLB. And I think, to be honest, man, for the, the fans that hate the Astros so much, you can do as much as you want. You can cry, you can scream, and all that. You can do all that stuff. But it doesn't change the fact that the Astros received their punishment and they're still the 2017 World Series champions. What, regardless, if you don't feel that it's worth any value or not, it still it belongs to the Houston Astros. Like I said, that's your opinion and, that's, and whatever. This is my opinion and it's whatever. We're just human beings. But, uh, but yeah, so I applaud Evan Gattis for giving... Uh, an apology about it and it, regard if you like it or not you take it for what it is and that's all I really got to say about that so that was my reaction to what Evan Gaddis said about the whole cheating scandal if you guys like what he said drop in the comment section tell me how you feel about what he said regard if you agree or disagree or not that doesn't really matter to me um, please like this video make sure you guys get like and subscribe to South Sports TV so we can get uh, it up to Saw Sports, man. We we're, we're both partnering channels, and it's crazy that we have over six thousand subscribers on Saw Sports, and we're still kind of trying to catch up with them. It should, we you know, at this point, it should be an easy transition for everybody at this point. But aside from that, man, thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all. If you guys want more interaction with Saw Sports, whether it's the round table or anybody, join the Patreon, man. Join it. I guarantee you, you're going to have some great conversations in it, and I highly recommend it. So please subscribe to Soft Sports TV. And if you guys want more of an interaction, go ahead and join the Patreon. It's just $5, but it's well worth it. So, other than that, man, chucking up a deuce. Y'all stay saucy. Perfect. Perfect.